Humans of the cardboard. If you can't tell, I just woke up. Uh, you know, you know. Um, but uh, here we go. Um, Konami's going crazy with the premium pack reveals. They're, I think they're basically all fully out, aside from maybe what the alt art is. They normally put an alt art in the premium packs, unless they didn't this time. Um, but uh, really cool. You know, bunch of random stuff here. Um, Ten more cards, I think. So let's just jump into this thing. Let's We'll save that one for last thing. That one's a little more interesting. All right, let's start with these, though. Let's start with these Ice Doll. This is a level 2 water spellcaster effect monster. 800 attack, 1,000 defense. You can only use the first, second, and third effects of this card once per turn. You cannot special summon during the turn you activate any of this card's effects except water monsters. You can discard one other water monster, special summon this card from the hand. I mean, that that does just trigger all of the, like, Atlantean cards, which is actually kind of spicy. You can trigger Dragoons, you can trigger the new Shadow Bodyguards, and, uh, okay, and gets himself out. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one water spellcaster monster from your deck to your hand. <laughs> this is just a good card. And if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one ice doll mirror from your deck to your hand. Is this card just nutty? What is going on right now? Like, is this card actually just cracked? The only thing that would have made this card like insanely more cracked is that if it was a um, if it was an aqua, so that would be a, a potentially like totally awesome line, but. Uh, still pretty good. I mean, searching any water spellcaster, I don't know what all the best water spellcaster targets are. Um, and I also don't know, uh, off the top of my head, what Ice Doll Mirror. I think it's actually down here, so we'll see what that does as well. But cool to see. Um, all right, cool. I mean, nice. That's actually a pretty good first card. All right, next up here, we go to Ice Doll Mirror, normal spell card, two hard ones for turn effects. First one says, send one water monster from your hand or face up field to the graveyard as cost. Uh, this isn't a water monster, so I don't believe this triggers uh, any of like the Atlantean water stuff uh, that way, but still. Special summon one mono water monster with the same name as a... Oh, sorry. Some, special summon one monster with the same name as a water monster you control from your hand or deck. And for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters except water monsters. Again, it's actually just not bad at all. Um, sending, I don't know, anything, any, and then you just summon one as one you control? Okay, I mean, you could even just summon another copy of this guy if you want. Very interesting. Alright, second effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard to add an ice doll from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Then you, you just add another one? <laughs> Excuse me. This is crazy. Am I, I mean, like, they're not, like, out of this world, but they're, like... I'm reading them, I'm like, these are pretty good if you're playing a deck that's already waterlocked. These cards are just freaking... These cards are just solid, man. Wow, okay. Um, very interesting. Very, very interesting, actually. So, uh, we'll keep an eye on that. The only question here is, like, I think with between these two so far is, like, what water spellcaster can we add that's, like, actually good? He can technically add another copy of himself, but you can't, um... You can only use his extension effect once per turn, so we'll have to see. All right, and the final card here is Two Pillars of Ice. Uh, this probably also factors in here. Uh, quick play spell, actually. You can only use each of its effects once per turn. So I'll just summon two Ice Pillar Tokens. That's an Aqua Water Level 4 900-1200 stat line in defense position. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon from the extra deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard to immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one water monster. Uh, this one's not good. Um, you know? <laughs> Who would think locking yourself <laughs> out of the extra deck is, is not good in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, yeah, this one's just not that good. Okay, that's fine. You know, the other two are actually really interesting. Uh, I'm gonna have to look through the list of actual potentially playable water spell casters to see if this engine actually has like legs maybe it has legs in mermail maybe it has legs in i don't know marine sass it's not sh i wouldn't say sharks because he's a level two but just keep an eye out i'd keep an eye out for some other uh, possible engines all right next time we move to some new cool stuff this is bat the forest ninja i th this has ninja in the name which is kind of cool um, we'll see if it actually like comes through um, as ninja support. You guys know how much I love ninjas. All right, level three light beast tuner. 
Okay, probably not real ninja support, but okay. 800 attack, 800 defense, you can only special summon uh, with the way of this card's name once per turn. And you can only use the second effect once per turn as well. You can special summon this card from your hand if there is a face-up card in the field zone. Okay, that's already not really working with ninjas, because ninjas don't really play. They have a field spell, but it, it's not historically been good enough to play, but okay. And if this card is normal or special summoned and Fairy Tale Prologue Journey's Dawn is on your side of the field or in your graveyard, you can add a light beast monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to figure this card out down here because I've never heard of Fairy Tale Prologue Journey's Dawn, but okay. I mean, there's there's some stuff here. So ideally, like if, if the Journey's Dawn can search this card, then you're able to go... Activate Journey's Dawn, search this card, special summon this card, and then use this effect to add any light beast in the game from your deck to your hand. And you'll have a level 3 tuner plus, you know, something else, and you haven't even normaled yet. Maybe that's what we're looking at here. We'll have to see. Alright, this is Wonko Noble Knight of the Force. Is this actually a Noble Knight? I'm very curious about this translation, if this is going to translate to Noble Knight specifically, but... Uh, he clearly does not look like most noble knights because, but he is your light beast or one of your light beast targets here. Uh, he's 1100 attack, 1600 defense. You can only use this first effect once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add fairy tale prologue from your deck to your hand. And if the fairy tale prologue's uh, already on your field or graveyard, you can draw a card instead. That's kind of cool. Okay, so this is actually like a pretty cool little engine. This this walks you straight into like a fairy tale or a uh, ancient fairy dragon, which I think maybe is supposed to be the the basis here, because uh, the you know fairy tale ancient fairy. I I don't know if that's actually what where these are based in, but like you normal summon this guy. Uh oh, you had the field spell. We have to see if the field spell gets you this guy. That's what we're kind of hoping for here. All right, sorry. So, uh, second effect, your opponent's uh, monsters can only select this card as an attack car uh, target if there is a card in the field zone. And that, this may be worded weird because, like, mm, no, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. And when this card is destroyed by battle, you can have that monster that destroyed it lose 500 attack. That's not really a float. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it is still a searcher, though. It's a plus one on summon, so we'll take that. Uh, and the last card here we have is Fairy Tale Prologue Journey's Dawn. This is a field spell. You can only use its second effect once per turn. Have all battle damage uh, each player takes. Okay. If you control a light beast, beast monster or a level 7 uh, or 8 dragon synchro, you can draw one card. Okay. Is this actually Ancient Fairy Dragon support? Like, this is just all steering me towards Ancient Fairy Dragon stuff, right? So if you just put Ancient Fairy Dragon in the field, which is a level 7 Dragon Synchro, you just get to draw a card. It all, like, adds up into that, right? You have you have two monsters that help you sync up into a level 7. Okay. And lastly, once per turn during your standby phase, you can send this card from your field zone to the graveyard to place a field spell from your hand or deck face up in your uh, field zone, except for another prologue. Okay, so it even does, like, an Ancient Fairy Dragon thing. Replaces itself for another field spell. Um, unfortunately, this card doesn't get you your tuner. That's the one thing I was hoping for, is I was hoping that, like, we could normal summon this guy, search the field spell, the field spell could get us the tuner, and then because we control the field spell, the tuner could just jump out, and boom, straight into... And then this card could potentially search us another light beast, uh, and then we can make Ancient Fairy Dragon, pop the field spell, rotate it for a better field spell, or we draw a card, then pop the field spell, rotate it into another field spell, and and go from there. Um, there's some interesting stuff here. There actually is like some connectivity here, but like when you're based all around this field spell specifically, and this field spell kind of sucks eggs, the, the, tr the swapping out for another field spell is interesting, but it's just so slow, right? It's placing two, so you're not adding one, which means um, if you're trying to get a field spell that searches on activation, you're not gonna be able to trigger it there. There's just, there's just a couple of whiffs here, uh, but they are interesting for sure. All right, and then into the final stuff, and I think this is probably the most interesting because one of them is a new Spider Shark. So if this card's really good, then uh, this a new a new Galaxy card, uh, and then a couple others. So uh, all right, here we go. Shine Spider Shark, uh, Water Sea Serpent, of course. Rank five, 25, 26, 21 for the stats. It takes three level five waters, but it doesn't really because you can also exceed some in this card using Spider Shark. You control as material. I love that. That just makes this so much more approachable in sharks. 
Once per turn, you can detach a material from this card, then target one monster your opponent controls. Banish that monster until your opponent's next standby phase. And if you do, if your opponent controls a monster, all monsters they control lose a thousand till the end of this turn. During the end phase of a turn that this exceeds summon card was destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card. Ah, I mean, like, I guess this can facilitate, like, OTKs, right? Like, being able to go make Spider Shark, make this, use this card's effect to, like, banish one monster, and then lower all the rest, and then you're just punching in with, you know, a couple other monsters, and you can, you can get there that way. Problem is, like, I never really felt like sharks were, like, that dire on being able to so kill conditions but it's a card to consider i'm just not sure it's as good as we need it to be to be worth playing there's like a lot of interesting options at the end of the extra deck for uh sharks and i'm just not sure this card's going to be it especially if you have to play this and spider shark just by a requirement you know it takes two slots i'm not sure it's good enough for two slots next up we have titanic galaxy light dragon funny enough like some of the leaks had uh had like we're announcing that this was um was here so those leaks were that leak was true at least i don't know if the dark world leak part of the leaks are going to be true as well but it looks like this one's true so titanic galaxy light dragon this is a rank nine just like the leak said it takes three monsters but it doesn't really because you can just use uh the regular titanic galaxy as materials so the regular number 38 um Hope Harbinger, which is already a good card in of itself that already would see play in some rank 8 base decks too, so cool. Gains 200 attack for every material it has, and once per turn you can um, target up to two spell or traps your opponent controls. The targeted cards cannot activate their effects in response to this activation, okay, and attach them to this card as material. Third effect, you can detach one material from this card. For the rest of this turn, this card's original attack becomes 1,500, and it can attack directly. Uh, this card is pretty bad. This card does not do... Like, uh, everything up until its effects are, like, right on the money. They literally said, new S38 Titanic Galaxy. It's a rank 9, it takes 3 monsters, and you can overlay it by putting it on top of just a regular Hope Harbinger. And then none of the effects were on point, which is kind of funny. They did say like it was like this was supposed to be like a spell and trap negate, I think. Um, and it was supposed to like search a, a card that like has like one a new card that was supposed to synergize with it. Pretty interesting. Okay, so like even that take take leaks with a grain of salt even harder, right? Like even if we get a name, an effect, or whatever. Like, it looks like just the name and the summoning condition were true for this one. So, just take everything with a grain of salt. All right, next up we have Revelation of Hope. Uh, it's a normal spell card. You can only activate one card of this card's name per turn. Send a face-up level 8 dragon from your field to the graveyard. Then special summon a rank 8 dragon exceed from your extract. This is treated as an exceed summon. Uh, this seems like the type of card that's not going to be searchable. I don't really see what in its text is going to allow it to be searchable. But, like... It's not bad. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? You could even target a freaking Blue Eyes and then just plop a rank 8 Exceed uh, like Hope Harbinger and then, or even some of the, the Galaxy Eyes guys that allow you to just rank all the way up into like one of the huge ones. Like, this is actually not the worst card in the in the, in the the game, but it does send his cost, um, even though it summons from extra, so like it's not getting Ashed or anything, but this is interesting. It's a fun card. And the last card we have here is Galaxy Journey. It says, I have Galaxy in the name. It's a quick play spell. You can only use its first and second effects once per turn. So just summon one of your light or dark banished monsters. It is banished, but it is just a quick play. So it like, doesn't even target. That's kind of cool. Second effect of a face-up Xeed monster you control becomes banished, and this card is in your graveyard. You can banish this card from grave to target one of those monsters and special summon it. Uh, interesting, but like, again, I, you know, takes a little setup. Unless you're playing something like Thunder Dragon or whatever, where you are banishing your guy, your guys, like, consistently, and that's, like, what the deck is built around. Um, I don't know if we can play something like this. But it is an interesting, and that, like, doesn't, it doesn't seem like a terrible card inherently. I just don't know if it has a home yet. Alright, uh, pretty cool, though. Like, a lot of interesting stuff. Nothing that really, like, is, that I'm like, whoa. But, like, water spellcaster searching stuff, like, that's a cool little engine. Uh, this little engine is intriguing if they actually like end up expanding on it more down the line. We'll see. Um, Spider Shark, interesting. Probably not good enough to make it into the deck competitively. New Galaxy Eyes, uh, 
seems like the leak was like half real but like the effects were not what they said in the, uh, originally and these two cards also like not bad but also not searchable not uber searchable or awesome so uh interesting stuff i think that straight up finishes premium pack reveals as far as like the absolute new stuff um in the next couple of weeks we're actually going to jump into um alliance insight and more of those reveals so there's that we're going to get the link to from magistus revealed that card needs to pull it all together for them and um i'm sure there's going to be other reveals down the line as well so um thanks for watching let me know your thoughts down below on this stuff uh, is anything here like actually interesting enough to see play in a, in a deck uh you know relevant enough um i'd love to hear your guys thoughts on that any water spellcaster targets i'd love to hear any of that stuff but i'm out here for today thank you so much for watching as always guys i will see you in the next video subscribe to the channel for more news videos from me down the line peace